Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Macho Miracle here, a.k.a. Dyson. And welcome to uh, a commentary, a good old commentary, over some Black Ops 3 gameplay. Both of these matches are on Nuketown because uh, it's Double Experience Weekend, and Nuketown is, of course, the, the big map during Double Experience Weekend. They have the Nuketown 24-7. I enjoy Nuketown because it's fast-paced, usually. And I either get... Uh, really good KD, or I just get a ton of kills, but I also get kind of a lot of deaths, but it's fast-paced, so that's fun. Uh, both of the, like I said, both matches are on Nuketown. One of them is like a really short, super short domination match where it's like 2v1 for a little bit, and then some people finally start getting in there, but it's like, there's like barely anybody. But it was, a, it was just a fun little, little game. And the next match is like a, like an uplink or something. I think my first uplink, maybe not my first uplink, but it's one of my one of my first uplinks, I guess I should say. And uh, it was a pretty fun match. It was the most fun I've had in uplink, I think, was uh, that game. So, uh, okay, enough of, enough about the gameplay, and let's get on to what the commentary is <laughs> actually about. And the commentary is about my birthday two days ago. How awesome it was! Oh, hello, kitty. My kitty cat is in here. He needs to, he needs to get out, excuse me, maybe I'll get him out right now. And there we go, there we go, you get out of here, bud. You just get right on out of here. Jabrones. Don't talk, Carter! Okay, well, anyhow, yeah, my birthday was two days ago, it was my 21st birthday. And, uh, first I'll address, uh, any questions about, you know, because it's 21st birthday, that usually implies something. That usually implies that I went out and drank or had a good time drinking or whatever. Well, that is not the case. I <laughs> uh, did not drink any alcohol on my 21st birthday. Have yet to. Um, I have been asked already to uh, buy some alcohol for some people, and I said no, because I'd rather not get in trouble <laughs> for doing that. I'm sorry, but... I'd like to I'd like to stay out of trouble, thank you, and uh, all that good stuff. So, and I don't want to be the I don't want to be the provider of anything bad that happens. I'm not against alcohol or anything like that. It's just that I indeed have tried it before, and it was uh, absolutely disgusting. And also, I've seen the way people act when they're drunk, and I would rather not act like that because there's a uh, <laughs> there's some stupid drunks, I'd rather not be stupid. And then there's some mean drunks, I'd rather not be mean. And, uh, you know, just, just crazy drunks. I'd rather not be crazy. So, I'll watch it, I'll watch it happen. Like, the, the funny drunks are my favorite. But I doubt I'd be a funny drunk. So, uh, I'll stay away from it for as long as I can anyways. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll drink on special occasion, occasions. <laughs> occasions. Um, it will, we'll, we'll just have to see. But anyways, rest, we'll talk about the rest of my birthday. I woke up 45 minutes later than I wanted to, so that was fun. Um, cause, uh, we were, I was gonna hang out with a couple friends that day, so, which, you know, they ended up coming by, they, they got there, and I, <laughs> I was getting out of the shower when they got here, so, then we had some brownies that my mom had, had made me. Uh, for my birthday, had some uh, had some of those, uh, her homemade brownies, which are just amazing. I love them, so I asked her to make those for me. So I had, what was it? I had, <laughs> let's see, I probably had like just two in the morning, and then uh, my other, my two friends, one of them had two, another one had one, which the, she had two batches of them, so there were a lot of brownies. So don't worry about it. We we still had plenty of leftover for later that night. Uh, because we were having a little little get together for my birthday later that night, so we leave. We go to we go to Joplin, which is an hour away. So we get there, and we we stop by one of my buddy's apartments because he has something he has to take care of there, and just hang out for a little bit. Then we go to my favorite restaurant ever, Schlotzky's. I love Schlotzky's, and I got a 10-inch pepperoni double cheese pizza. So good. It is by far like my favorite pizza. Uh, I just, oh man, I love Schlotzky so dang much. And their medium is a 32 ounce. <laughs> That's their medium. Like, their medium drink is a 32 ounce drink. It is insane. It is 
it is just wild. It's crazy how big that is. And then they're small as like everybody else's medium. And then they're large as everybody else's like jumbo. Like, man, yeah. Because their medium is everybody else's large. And that's just, that's just insane. And I love it. Uh, I, heck, last August I got to eat at the uh, original Schlotzky's and that was that was perfect. That was awesome that I got to eat there because it started in Austin, Texas. So I got to eat there and that was that was pretty swell. But of course, dang it, I'm eating on at Schlotzky's for my birthday since we were going to Joplin. And I was like, well, we're eating at Schlotzky's, and uh, that that was a good time. We had fun talking to each other and eating all that stuff. I'm the one who took the longest and everything because I'm a slow eater. It happens. We were, we were there for quite a while. Then we go back to my friend's apartment where my other friend, it's not his apartment, but my other friend gets on his account, plays a couple games of Call of Duty. That was pretty fun to watch. Uh, and, we, and we hung out and talked some more. Then, then we went to the movies. And this is the movie that I wanted to see. I wanted to see Suicide Squad. I was going to give it a, a try because I'd been wanting to watch it anyways. And then there was getting bad reviews and stuff. And I'll say this. It wasn't what I was expecting. Uh, whenever I watched it, Suicide Squad was not at all what I was expecting, but it was really good. It was a good movie. Like I, and <laughs> I enjoyed it. It was, it it was a good movie. That my my other friends they enjoyed it too. And you know they they had some reshoots for the movie, which my friends couldn't tell. But there was a few spots where I was like, okay, and it was obvious that was a reshoot. But Besides that, I I mean, I did enjoy the movie. It was a pleasant surprise, because whenever what happens happens in the movie, I'm like, I didn't expect that this is what it would be about. Like, I knew it was about the Suicide Squad, but what they were doing, I did not expect it to be about that at all. But it was that, and that was, it was it was still pretty good. I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to watch. Um, and, you know, there's people saying there wasn't enough Joker. You know what, I, uh, you know, Jared, uh, Jared Leto, or Leto, or however you say his name, I don't know, he, uh, I did like his Joker, it's a different kind of Joker, so, and there's always been different Jokers, but his Joker was his own kind of Joker, and it was still a good Joker. He's different from the other Jokers, and it was still a good Joker. We can go down and saying that, it, yeah, it was, it was a good Joker, but, uh, like the, like the best Joker ever uh, i for me personally is mark hamill as the joker and like cartoons and stuff like man he he just he nails the joker and then second best is definitely heath ledger and then after that i don't really i don't really care but jared leto made a pretty good joker and yeah people people were saying there wasn't enough joker i think there was a perfect amount because they recorded a lot of the joker like they could make basically make a movie of only Joker with how much they recorded of the Joker from what I heard anyways that's what I read about how much time they spent shooting scenes with the Joker it was crazy but from what I saw man it was a uh, it was you know it was a good amount of Joker it wasn't uh, it, I mean it was nowhere near too much but it wasn't too little either um, I think there's some exaggeration of how much like there was too little Joker it was he was it, was, it was a perfect, it was a good amount, perfect amount for that movie anyways, it was a good amount, and I, I really liked it, um, Margot Robbie did a perfect job as Harley Quinn, she was the, uh, she, she was our favorite part of the entire movie, me and my two friends, man, she was awesome, she made an awesome Harley Quinn, and then my, one of my friends was just like, man, she is so hot, <laughs> He was uh, he was drooling over her the entire movie. That's why she was his uh, favorite part. Which that had a little bit of reason for me too. That that was one of the reasons. But there was multiple other reasons too. Because Harley Quinn is a cool character. So she just she just nailed it. And then uh, it was really centered around Will Smith. I think the way they did things with uh, with the Deadshot and stuff. Which he did a he did a really good job as a Deadshot. Like, Will, Will Ferrell as a person, he's kind of a weird guy, but as an actor, he's a great actor. I gotta give him props. He's he's a great actor. He was, and he was phenomenal in this movie. He was great as Deadshot. Really good Deadshot. And, uh, heck, they even referenced Superman and Batman in there. You get to see a really cool little 
clip of uh, another superhero, and that's all I'll say. Um, and I and I really enjoyed that part. It was cool. Um, there was some there was a good amount of funny moments, and the action was pretty good. Just just an overall pleasant surprise. Like I didn't know how I was gonna like it because of the reviews. But you know, I just forget the reviews. And I've and then there's some people who haven't liked it, and I can see their point of view of why they didn't like it. Um, but for me personally, I did enjoy it. It was a good movie. But after that, uh, we go drop one of my friends off, and then I go back home. And I come home and I watch uh, I watch like fairy tale anime and and like game grumps you know youtube videos <laughs> that's what i came home and did and then uh around seven o'clock that night it was before that like six thirty, i got my dinner which was more pizza i still have that pizza so my insides are being tore up by pizza right now <laughs> but uh i'll get i'll get used to it I'll, eventually i'll get rid of all the pizza and it will just be it'll be awesome so i can't wait for that get rid of all this pizza and i'll be I'll be uh, happy to be rid of pizza for a while, which I never thought I'd say. But man, you can have too much of something, and I didn't, I didn't expect it. But man, uh, I've had too much pizza this week, and that is just that is just crazy. Which I love pizza, even though I've had too much. I mean, I still scarf it down in like five seconds. It's like I love it so much. <laughs> like it doesn't make me love it any less. I love it still. So after that. After I ate my pizza. That's when family showed up. My nan and my grandpa. And I had cards to open up and stuff. And I had presents from them. And then my step-grandma, she came over. Uh, so we we were all talking and having a good time. They, My cake was one of the batch of brownies. Because uh, I'm not really a cake eater. So we ate some brownies. They sang happy birthday to me as a 21st birthday. I was like, sang happy birthday to me. That was That was great. My little brother was late to it. Uh, out with his friends and had to run home really fast. <laughs> that was that was enjoyable, cause uh, man, they were not they were not happy with him and all that good stuff. But then I start to open gifts. You know, I got cards and they were really sweet cards. They were and they were funny cards and stuff like that. And I got money from it. It's cool. It's cool stuff. Let me see what else I got in here. I got a Star Wars towel and. Uh, and like a washcloth. I like I like Star Wars, so my nana got me that. She always gets me random stuff. Um, I also got a potato gun. It's a really it's one of the really small ones that you stick in a potato and you squeeze it and then you release and then you can shoot uh, like really skinny like French fry looking pieces of potato at people, which is perfect because my little brother hates potatoes, so I'm totally gonna use this on him like a lot. Um, it's gonna be fun. I also ordered some books for myself, um, of that anime I watched, The Devil is a Part-Timer. I had four of those five books come in, because the fifth book isn't out yet. And I've started reading those. Those are cool. I like those. I got some, uh, I got some little random flashlight thing for my Nana. Like I said, she gets me random things. But then she got me some cool stuff, too, like, like money. And, uh... I think she got me something else. Oh yeah, I got a I got a Marvel glass clock, which is from I believe my mom and my nana. It's this it's a it's a Marvel themed clock that has a bunch of the old comics and stuff on it, and it's glass. It's really cool. Um, and then the other thing I got I got Gunner Optics, which you know they help you they cancel out blue light from uh, screens, so like phone screens, tablet screens, TVs, computers, all that good stuff. Which I've been using those when I'm making graphics and editing videos and playing games and it's really helped me to focus it's really weird playing games with them i don't have a problem watching youtube videos or um editing stuff or working on some graphic stuff with them on like it doesn't doesn't bother me which i wasn't bothered when i was playing the game i just have to i just have to get used to them because i'm also wearing a headset over the glasses so they're like stuck on my face and uh, i just have to get used to it because i'm it's, it's just kind of weirding me out a little bit wearing them like that. I was just playing with them earlier before I started this commentary with a friend of mine playing some Call of Duty. Um, I just gotta get used to them, but it makes the contrast, makes the colors really pop. The contrast is awesome. Everything looks clearer to me on screens. Everything else looks, you know, normal with a kind of yellowish tint to it. Um, well, not really yellowish tint. It's just that 
you know, it's just making the colors better. It's not really yellow, I guess. It's more like everything looks like it's in natural light instead of um, blue light. And I like that better. I like that everything looks more natural, and it's cool. And I edited videos and made graphics for like six straight hours yesterday. I moved around a bit, okay, but I was basically staring at a screen for six straight hours yesterday. My eyes did not get dry once. My eyes did not hurt. It was awesome. It was great. So these gunner optics are cool. They are amazing. I would highly recommend them for any time you're going to be looking at a screen for more than 30 minutes. Definitely. And I've just, I've just been wearing them for any time I'm looking at a screen. Unless I'm on the pot watching a YouTube video on my phone or something. Then I don't have them on. But <laughs> any other time I have them on. Uh, I also got an iPad Air 2 64GB, which was the gunner optics and the iPad. Those were the two things on my list and money. Those three, there was four things on my list. I didn't get one of the things, but I'll come back to that later. Got the iPad Air 2. I've been messing with that. Been having a lot of fun with that because I'm an Android guy. I, everything I have is like Android. I'm PC. I don't really use a lot of Apple stuff. But I was told in college that you need to at least know how to work some Apple stuff. So I know how to work a Mac from going to college. And a lot of the, there's a lot of Macs there. So you have to learn how to work on Macs. So I know how to work on Macs and on PCs. I know how to do that. It's pretty simple. Uh, Macs aren't really that confusing to me. Um, iPhones have always been confusing to me. I just don't. I don't know how. Like I, I just, I'm just more Android. Like I can still navigate an iPhone, but I know more about the Android. This iPad is awesome, and I'm still getting used to it. But man, it is awesome. I love this iPad. It's really fun. I've been playing Pocket Morty's because I didn't want to get that on my phone. I wanted to wait until I had a tablet. I have the, the now Apple iPad Air 2, and it's freaking cr crazy awesome. Uh, I've been playing Pocket Morty's on it, and I've been doing some other stuff with some other apps on there. Having a good time. It's really enjoyable. I really like it. Um, now I'll get on to the one thing that I had on my list that I did not get, which I'm not mad about or anything like that. I'm fine with that. I don't I don't need to get everything. I, I usually expect not to get everything that I wanted, because... Um, like that that would just be crazy to do that there's one that it was a video game that i wanted i wanted overwatch i wanted overwatch really bad uh, i did not get it but that's okay i got a lot of money for my birthday so i'll probably just go out and buy it because i really want it because i really want to make youtube videos and i really want to stream it mostly stream have another stream game and all that good stuff and the reason i want to stream it more now is because my mom upgraded our internet instead of 350 gigs a month for our data limit we have one terabyte and i'm like whoa a month a month guys because so for us that's like crazy awesome and we get extra cable stuff too all for only 20 more bucks more a month which is crazy because we live really far away from our internet provider so for only 20 more bucks we get instead of 350 gigs we get a terabyte and we get another cable box uh that has like tivo and stuff on it. Uh, well, something like TiVo. I don't really know exactly what it is, but that's really awesome. I think that's another birthday gift, maybe, that she planned on doing uh, for me, so that was really cool of her. Thank you, Mommy. And not everybody said happy birthday to me, and I'm kind of mad about that. I'm just kidding. I'm not. Uh, I, I, I did get a lot of birthday wishes, and that was cool, but uh, there's some people who actually do get mad about that stuff. I, I am not one of those. The people who do, thank you. The people who didn't, I mean, usually they find out later that they didn't, and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, happy late birthday, happy belated birthday. I'm like, it's cool, thanks. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and toodaloo.